What's up everybody, I am Mike and this is another custom doll. You may also call it an action figure, I just think a doll sounds more fun to say. Metal Gear Solid is one of the most intriguing video games of all time. And if you are watching a video of a custom made snake doll, you probably feel the same way. Out of all the games, Snake Eater is definitely my favorite. I was also a big fan of Metal Gear Online 2 back when MGS4 came out, and from time to time I still like to play the new MGO. If anything, I wish we had more maps from the other Metal Gear games. Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain was a ton of fun to play. It sucks that you can't really talk about Metal Gear anymore without mentioning Konami and Kojima, and it sucks that the game we ended up playing lacked content, but I still don't regret having played it. If anything, I got way too addicted to building my base and unlocking all the items. The design for Punished slash Venom Snake is really cool and I couldn't decide which outfit to make, so I just made a couple of versions of Snake. So about the figure. This version obviously comes with a black camo fatigue. I bleached out the original camo and painted his outfit myself. One of these days I should probably make a tutorial on how to dye and paint clothing properly. The head sculpt arrived unpainted, so all I needed to do was clean it and seal it before I could add a new paint job. As per usual I began with the lips and worked my way towards the edges of his head and finished him by adding eyes and hair. With Snake I also sculpted his bionic arm and this version has the ability to actually open and close the palm. He also comes with a darker and a brighter scarf. If you want to see me actually paint or sculpt a specific head sculpt, why not drop a comment down below. If that is something you'd like to see, I'll figure out how to properly shoot it. For his outfit, I also had to sew his shoulder pads and the thing on his knee. Coming to think of it, a tutorial on sewing would probably also be a good idea. With Snake, I also applied a thin layer of glass varnish on his eyes to give them a more natural look. In order to get a realistic skin tone, I use soft all free pastels. After scratching the paint down to a soft powder, I can apply it to the surface similar to makeup and create the illusion of layered and translucent skin. In order to get the eyes just right, I used acrylics mixed in with pastels and heavily watered down shades of red to paint the veins on his eyes. Whenever I film I try to be somewhere between 100 and 300 mm focal length with a telephoto lens. This creates softer edges with a clear focus on the eyes and face. Anything below 50 only has the risk of image distortion and the only thing you'll see me adjust in post is some minor white balance and color grading to make him look like he also does in my hand. I want to give you a full view of the head sculpt and for that I also switch up the lighting every now and then because different lights also create a different look. I hope you enjoyed this, like and subscribe if you do, comment down below what you wanna see me do next or what I should improve. I'll be back soon with another figure. Remember to check out my site, the link is down below. You'll also find tons of images and links for DeviantArt, Figure Realm and ArtStation. And of course, my shop on Etsy, if you ever feel like getting a unique and crazy gift idea for a friend. And now enjoy a couple of more shots of Snake without my narration. Thank you again for tuning in and remember as always, it's just painted plastic.